In his debut season at Barcelona, Ansu Fati won the hearts of an entire Barcelona fan base. Supporters pinned their hopes on the then 16-year-old, who was a bright spark in an otherwise gloomy period. Fatty's career could not have got off to a better start, and it seemed as though he would go from strength to strength at Barcelona. But that hasn't happened yet. Why? That strong start was interrupted in November 2020. Barca were hosting Real Betis, and half an hour into the game, Fatty's knee turned sharply in a tackle. He had ruptured the inner meniscus in his left knee. The procedure used to treat Fatty's injury made sense for his age. He went to Dr. Ramon Cugat, an internationally renowned expert in orthopedic surgery and trauma medicine, who specializes in the world of sport. Cugat has worked on many players, including Sergio Aguero, Pep Guardiola, Xavi, Carlos Puyol, Alexis Sanchez, Vincent Company, and Fernando Torres, just to name a few. Cugat sutured the player's torn meniscus, making a stitch to join together the open parts of a wound in a first operation that consisted of trying to keep the meniscus intact. Fatty spent 10 days recovering, doing one session a day at the doctor's centre. According to reporting by The Athletic and a source close to Dr. Cugat, Fatty returned to Barca after 10 days and they took charge of his rehabilitation. The source added that Fatty called the doctor a few weeks later to tell him that the knee had become inflamed. The forward told him that with Barca, he was undergoing two recovery sessions per day, one more than he was supposed to. Former employees at Barcelona who were responsible for Fatty's recovery did not respond when approached for comment by The Athletic and neither did Fatty's family. So after two months, Fatty returned to the operating theatre for a second operation, which was another suture. Fatty was due to return to the field in the spring of 2021, but instead he had a third operation on the knee. He went to Madrid to continue his recovery, and two months later, he underwent a meniscusectomy, where the affected part of his meniscus was removed. It was his fourth operation in six months. The player would make his return to the pitch on September the 26th, 2021, against Levante, and he did so in style, scoring the final goal in a 3-0 win. He would play six more games, but just over a month later, the forward suffered another injury against Celta Vigo. It was an injury in the biceps femoris of his left thigh meaning two more months on the sidelines. He returned for the semi-finals of the Supercopa de España against Real Madrid in January 2022, and it took him just 17 minutes to score. However, against Athletic Bilbao later that month, he suffered a hamstring injury. Although the club asked the player to undergo surgery, he wanted to follow a more conventional treatment rather than go under the knife again. Physiotherapist Luis Puig has an explanation for why his game has dropped off since then. One possible hypothesis as to why he re-injured the biceps femoris of the contralateral leg on which he had the knee operation could be because he unconsciously compensated more with this leg and the rest of his body. That's to say, asking much more effort from the non-operated leg of the knee. For the physiotherapist, the key is fatty gaining confidence. He says it's a question of time, not reinvention. So, what will happen next? Well, it's difficult to see the attacking spark he originally possessed. Whether that's because of psychological issues, or because his physique is different, Fatty does not appear to be the same player. His role has also diminished in the seasons since his injury. This season he has played in every game in La Liga, but he's only started in five of those. In the Champions League, he also played every game, but he only started in two group stage games. He also only played the full 90 minutes in one of those matches. Fatty's pre- and post-injury attacking stats in La Liga tell an interesting story. His goals, expected goals and assists per 90 have all risen since his injury, but his expected assists, attempted dribbles and successful dribbles per 90 have fallen. Now that could show how Fatty is focusing on becoming more of a finisher rather than the dribbler that he appeared to be when he first broke through. And his situation has been replicated internationally. Once one of the great hopes of the Spanish national team, now he cuts a more peripheral figure. He was eventually selected for the 2022 World Cup, but was used only sparingly by Luis Enrique. And when he was on the pitch in Qatar, he was unable to change the dynamic of games in which Spain seemed destined for defeat. Fatty's future, then, is uncertain. His Barcelona contract runs until June 2027, although some Spanish media outlets reported that the club wanted to sell him in the summer of 2021 for a price of 100 million euros. 
Barca looking to sell him next summer is not out of the question, given his lack of prominence under Xavi, the price at which he was once valued and the club's economic situation. That is a prospect which is officially denied by the club, and which obviously depends on whether he regains his confidence and can finally remain free of injury. Only time will tell. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.